Then again, it could be terrible to have you. There is no way of telling you. As a good friend, I think you'd be concerned for what we all have. We are not good friends. We are simply acquaintances. Uh, you and others in this house are under the impression that uh, Miss Mart and I are some sort of teacher. Uh, we do not. We have simply gone places together. The theater? Ah, uh, yes. I took her to see Hamlet. Oh, that's an adjective. Ah, uh, very pathetic. Once I have given her three German lessons. Three? That many? Yes, and I have taken her to the park to hear speakers. But Miss Mart hardly seems to know I exist. She dresses passively like the wind. Mrs. Carr, can you see the professor? <laughs> Behind you, darling. Guten Tag, Miss Bart. The word is Guten Tag. It means good day. I know what it means, but when you taught it to me, you said Guten Tag. <laughs> I would never say Guten Tag. Well, I'm sure you did. Uh, well, I'm sure I didn't. All right, then. Guten Tag. And it's a very Guten Tag. A wonderful Guten Tag. I have some amazing news. <laughs> I came to New York from a dream. I knew it might take me a while, but all I've been hearing since I arrived is right there on the pile. So the day I woke up and decided it's time, time to achieve, time to thrive, time to climb. Is that Thomas, what happened? Sometimes when you dream, your dream is just a guess. Sometimes when you work with the Lord, you don't know if you'll ever find success. So I grabbed a story to sell and got ready to raise hell. Then I marched out the door and handed right for the weekly volcano for us. Henry Dashwood, now he's a model taste. Dashwood was a fiend. He sneered at my distress. Tossed my story high on the staff. But I was determined I would progress. I said, sir, I'll wait while you read. But the last page is free. Then I jumped on a chair and read it right there at the weekly volcano.